Hey everyone, welcome to another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about cheap security cameras. Now, I was gonna make a full review on this camera. Uh, I had high hopes for it when I bought it. This thing was about $20 right now. It's $14.58 on AliExpress. It's called Simicam. And if you want to know how cheap it feels, watch this. Want to hear that again? So I plugged this in. It wouldn't work on Chrome. So look at the live view. It wouldn't work on Internet Explorer. It didn't like the plugin. I installed the plugin on this thing and I'm 80 to 100% sure that it gave my computer a virus because right after that, all my RAM was sucked up, the computer bogged down and I had to format it. So this thing, I mean, the only cool thing about it is it has a little LED light that shows that it has connectivity. But besides that, um, I would not plug this into your network. I genuinely think this is a security risk and I would pass up on this. No matter how cheap something is on AliExpress, don't get it. So now I'm gonna toss it. Now we're gonna talk about something a little more higher quality. Now we're gonna start with an Americanized Chinese camera. Here we got the Amcrest. Let me get the model number. It's been a long time since I've had this thing. We got the Amcrest uh, IPAMT2599EW. I got this off Amazon. And I've actually installed this for a couple customers. It's a really good camera. It does a good job. It has, I believe, this one has, yeah, this one has audio too. And it's made of metal. You hear that? You got quality in this thing. Um, when I got this thing, it was really good, bang for your buck. My customers liked it. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it. But recently, uh, I did a customer's house and I just got a new client and they wanted uh, the same exact cameras to match their old system. The cameras that they had on their house were from this company called Alarm.com which they just use high vision cameras and rebrand them with their name on it and call it a day. So after trying to hack that thing and it did not work, I was trying to reboot the thing and flash the firmware so it could think it's a high vision camera again and not an alarm.com camera because alarm.com cameras, unless you pay for the service or you call them, they're not gonna give up the password to those cameras. Those cameras are just bricks of weight. So, I'll show you B-roll shot. I have a pile of them sitting in a container. Someday I'll get it around to try to exploit them again to see if I can get them to run high vision firmware. But it's a very low hope. So I went ahead and I came across this brand right here. And it's called Viklin. And if you look at it, it looks really similar to those cameras I installed. Of course it's newer and it has lights. But same exact setup, you can look on the back, it has the sticker on the back. It, this is, you know, you can't be fooled and say this is not a high vision camera. Now, the reason why I have these two here is because I think these are a pretty fair comparison. Well, not too fair. This thing has lights and, and better features, but I'll get to that in a second. But the reason why I make this video is I see a lot of videos that people do and I, they're just product reviewers and tech guys. You're not getting a review from an installer. I'm an installer. I've been doing this for years. Um, you have to be up to date with the latest camera system. So that's why I bought this because it was such a killer deal. The link will be in the description to Amazon for this one and for this one because I I have sold this product before. I have not had one camera go down. And I've been testing this product for 
over I think a month now and I've not had not one complaint with this thing so let's get into why I like these two cameras and which one I prefer the most I'll say that at the end of the video so the first thing about these two things is the price point and the next thing I want to talk about is that they're 4k the next cool thing about these things too is they both have audio capabilities now let's talk about what makes these two stand apart this thing right here has really really good low light capability I'll do a test and I'll show you how it looks like in the dark but when I had these two side by side once the night started coming this camera would go into black and white within seconds but this one would still stay in color for a couple more hours and I was genuinely impressed the low light capabilities of this thing now the next thing that I really do like about this is it has two lights it has a regular white light and it has a night vision light you can enable and disable it through the settings of the camera if you connect to it through a browser which is really nice so if you want to if you want people to notice your cameras this is the buddy that you want to go with because it has a white light that flashes at people as they walk up within proximity of this camera so what makes this thing win the most this is the thing people don't think about when they buy these cameras and this is the thing that i'm going to say right now if you want tiny holes for the cable to pop through you're going to want to go with this one if you want to hide this cable you have to drill a hole big enough to fit this connector through now that is actually a deal breaker for some people because some people don't want to have giant holes you know they're not that big of a hole but they don't want holes that big on the side of their house let's say that one day they remove the cameras and now they have a massive hole on the side of their house if you look at the bottom of these cameras if you notice how there is no room right here i'm going to put some b-roll shot because it's not helping this one has a lot of space inside. So when I grab the wire and I coil it around, I can press it in there and lay the camera flat against the surface. With this, if I try coiling the wire, it's not gonna happen. So what this means, you'll have to buy a junction box if you don't want that big hole or you're just gonna have to suck it up and make a big hole to feed the wire through, which I'll put a shot of me, if this exact camera installed on my house with a fat hole behind it. So overall, between these two cameras, I would go with this one. For one, it's about the same price as this. It's a hike vision camera. I'm pretty sure this is also a hike vision camera, but this is later generation and it gives you the ability to hide the wire. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook these cameras up. I have a laptop next to me with screen recording software and I'm going to show the difference between the two. So let's get this bad boy out, which you've seen in my other video. Go ch check out the video on my POE extender videos. So just in case you've run one run, just in case you've run one wire, you can turn it into two easy with that adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up. Turn this camera this way. Turn this camera this way. Let's hook him up. See the white light? That's what I was talking about earlier. Okay, we got these hooked up and going. So now I got both the cameras hooked up to my network. I have the capture card going. Did you hear the click? Um, now we're going to wait to see the cameras appear on the screen. And then I'm going to flick the studio lights off. And I'm going to show you the difference in between how good these are in low light. Okay, so after messing with the lighting, if you've noticed here that the Amcrest camera is instantly going into night vision mode 
while the Vicolin is still in color. So this is what sold me on this camera was that it's still able to produce color at such a low light and it's pretty dark in here. I only have like a little spotlight going and as what you can see here, I'm going to choose the Vicolin over the Amcrest. So let's finish up this review. So to wrap up this video, I would choose the Vicolin VK35F slash LIUF over Amcrest. Now maybe Amcrest has released a newer camera that can, you know, battle with this thing. But at the end of the day, if you're getting a rebranded Hike Vision camera, just as the name Vicolin, you're getting your best bang for your buck, you know. Nothing wrong with Amcrest. I still install Amcrest products, but for I think for now on, for my budget my budget conscious customers that don't really care about uh, cameras from China, um, other companies do that are federally owned. But for personal use, people are not going to care. So that's all, everyone. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one. My camera microphone was left unplugged, so this is my impression of a camera hitting the floor. Boom, bang, crash!